Alright guys, so I just opened Instagram and I randomly heard this Cash Tommy snippet and it was trash. It was like people were saying, yo, this is the new Soul Train or whatever. It's like this song called Hypnotized, Hypnotized featuring Kari and the feature was pretty good, but it was something that sounded like, okay, like if me or you tried to make a pop song, that's what that sound song would sound like. And the thing about Cash Tommy is this is not something new. His music just fell off of a cliff and it was never like, oh my God, this is the next Michael Jackson, but you know, he was decent. Epiphany was all right. It just, for the past two years, his music has just been so bad. It's just insane. I think the other day I was on Twitter and Duty was reacting to one of Cash Dummy's songs and he just blocked his SoundCloud. He was like, God, this is trash. And after listening to these two songs, that one Twitter clip that was going kind of crazy from Duty and this other song Cash Dummy was promoting, I was like, I gotta check this out. And I listened to Cash Dummy's most recent project, by the way, mind you, Dami made his fans wait like 11 months, like a year for this project. It was some of the worst music I've heard in a long time. He has this one song called Ushi Gushi where I, I don't even, the song is just bad, bro. His other songs where you could tell there's like a bit of influence from Duop Kane and just like, bro, this is horrible. I don't know what happened to Cash Dami. He just has had this like horrible decline in music. I think he's been trying to try different styles and it's just been not working out. What's interesting to me though is that he's not even able to do his old style well. He dropped this one song called Loyalty and it was- So, okay, let me explain this first. The way Cash Dami blew up was through these like one minute like songs that had this one catchy hook and that was it. It was just this chorus and that was it. And that's all you need to go up on TikTok. So by dropping songs like this, he went up really fast and actually I almost forgot. Cash Dami was on 14 with Baby Santana and that was when Baby Santana was like, oh my god, he's the youngest rapper to do this. Oh my god, youngest rapper to hold Rolling Rat Loud, youngest rapper on Lyrical Lemonade, oh my god. And you know, Cash Dami was on that song 14. So Cash Dami was like really up there, like he was up. And he had a ton of songs that went crazy. He had Reparations, he had A Look in the Mirror, he had uh, Dior, he had a lot of, you know, big songs. He had a song produced by Lil Tecca, I forget the name, but you know, he was doing good. And he, he just, he had that one album, Epiphany pretty good too. I remember he had a song with Trippy Red called like Headshot that was cool too. And then after that he kind of like I think he signed to Republic Records or something and ever since then he's just not been able to do the same numbers and not even just numbers but his music is just garbage because I won't even say people lost interest in him like he had a decent amount of fans it's just his new music is so bad. I know that's like the 10th time I've said his music sucks in like five minutes but I didn't want to give him his flowers a little bit in that little snippet I just said like he was able to make good music at one point. Peaking at 16 is crazy, by the way, but I think he was 16. I don't know how old he's, how old he is, but I kind of just come to the conclusion that Cash Dami is just like not talented. I, I think he's just not talented because all he could do, I realized, is make like two catchy lines and just call it a day, like because that's where all his big songs. That's what all his big songs were. Another thing is, if you don't know this Cash Dami, he originally kind of not blew up, but got his first traction being like a Tay K clone. He was really um. He was really inspired by Take and you can kind of tell this. I, I believe he has like a song on World Star or something that was like a Take A clone song. He had a couple like Take A clone songs, and that's cool and all, but you know, I think recently he tried to copy, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think spoke about it a little bit, Duop Kane and whatnot, but he's just not, he just doesn't have a proper sound. Like he kind of had a sound, it was that catchy one minute plug sound, but it's just not. I guess the it's just not hitting or his new stuff isn't even like that like what I will say is at least he's not trying to just you know how some rappers they just copy that one sound that blows them up and they just fade out into irrelevancy because they just keep doing the same thing at least he's not trying to do that but god this is like a lot of this stuff should have stayed in the studio you know what I mean part of me is also kind of questioning like does this guy not have any friends that told him this stuff is trash because a lot of it is trash you know what I mean like what are you dropping bro okay so the song hypnotized right it literally sounds like if me or you went on YouTube, look up generic pop beat or some type of pop beat, hopped on their mic and just tried to make a, a pop song. Like, you know what I mean? Like he has, he can't sing at all. Like Dami cannot hit notes. He also has lost his ability to like make catchy music or make something that sounds a bit melodic. You know what I mean? Dami, I, what I just realized after like listening to part of this album or parts, cause there's no way I'm listening to this entire thing. I just hit on every song and kind of heard a little, is I realized that he doesn't really know how to make proper songs and he tried to do that with some of these, with some of this music and it's kind of, I think it's just like the accumulation of him not leaving his comfort zone ever. Like I think he only used to just make one minute songs. I, I believe he has an interview where they ask him, yo, why are the songs one minute and he just says, oh, cause it works or whatever. But like some of these songs, like this one with Joe Kenji, I believe he made called Different Timing. It's just like the most 
basic melodic song you could come up with he said i thought you were it's just not even nothing worth going over but here's the other thing cash dami is also not like the most liked guy either he gets quite a bit of hate you know um for all sorts of reasons how he looks how he acts you know um his music of course even before this insane fall off or whatnot if you didn't know Cash Dami and Jace had like this beef where Jace kind of called him out for being a fake blood and Jace was like, you're not a real blood, blah, 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 and Cash Dami was like, uh, you know, you know what I mean, but, uh, I don't think anyone ever thought Cash Dami was a real, was really like that. So he's always had the scrutiny over his name and hate, so the hate is nothing new, but at least he had hits, now he just has trash music, and he low-key might become the next YB and Namir, it's kind of sad because he never even reached the heights YB and Namir reached. It's honestly just sad when you realize that, like, he literally cannot make good music he just doesn't know how to make or not good music he just doesn't know how to make a song that sounds good that's not like 30 seconds and has like two bars in it and it's kind of catchy like that's all he can do and the moment he tried to get out of that he just collapsed like he just doesn't know how to make music it's like dang really that's crazy i think this should be like a lesson for most artists or something like yo if you if you're making music you gotta have at least some type of versatility versatility you know like you gotta be able to do something you know like tana and slum sixes like they can really rap like you can make fun of slum and tana or whatever all you want but like tana he's super versatile he can sing he can rap like he's a street rapper even though you know he's just a kid or he can just rap normally he can do all sorts of styles and he can do them all well you know what i mean like a lot of people you know we give him slack or whatever we, you know, i'm sorry we don't cut him slack. we um people mess with him because you know he doesn't uh, or for having all these different personas and whatnot but he does them pretty well like he can do the style as well he can really rap you know what i mean same thing with slumps pretty much every other of these tiktok rappers you know young Fazo, whatever they can they can make good music they know how to make good music it's just astonishing to me that cash dami just does not know how to he just can't he just can't make good music that sounds kind of depressing but you know what i mean he's just not capable of it like I really think if you put him in a box and we're like, yo, your life depends on it, you gotta make like a hit, he just wouldn't be able to do it. I think these other guys, maybe they won't, you know, you can't control something will go crazy numbers wise, but you put Slumps or sorry, Slump, or I really gotta go to sleep. You put Slump or Tana in a box and we're like, yo, if you don't make a song that sounds good, we're locking up for a hundred years, like they'll definitely be able to do it. Cash Dummy? I don't really know. His stuff just, I don't, yeah. It's just really weird to me. It's just really weird. Like, dang. Because he wasn't trash, to be honest. There was a little middle, like, period in the middle where he was cloning a little bit. He was stealing flows and whatnot. But, yeah, he's just not, not doing that crazy. His numbers are doing all right. Like, he had a, he has a couple of music videos that did all right. Like, they, they got, like, 200k, 200k, you know. That's all right. 150k, the one from four months ago. The one from a week ago at 60k. But he's not doing great numbers. And, yeah, it's not looking good for bro. It's not looking good for bro at all but hey what can you do anyways that's it for this video i just wanted to go over the abomination that uh ash Dami just dropped but you know it is what it is at the end of the day you know um i do know a little bit about his life i believe he grew up with a single mother and he struggled a lot and he did like earn everything he got so shout out to him you know he's very successful and he's doing well for himself i believe he has a clothing brand and whatnot and he's like a group and he's like videographers and stuff which is cool but you know your music's trash if your music's trash your music's trash you know can't really can't really say much else anyways thanks for watching have a nice day see you tomorrow and uh bye